review today. And they haven't looked rock solid either, FaZe. I still don't think that's enough to make Astralis the winner here, but man, what a surprise it would be. What a way to start the day if somehow that did happen. It feels unbelievably unlikely, but um, let's find out. Astralis is going to be on the CT side and FaZe on the T side. And some, well, one flashbang sit. Yeah, but I think actually Twist is looking like he's just going to be lurking this round behind the half wall, looking for the push, right? Because all the other players for FaZe are over towards mid, where Glaive and Farlik very aggressive as well with these duelies. And Twist is just hoping somebody gets lackadaisical and just meanders into his crosshair. Yep, Sip, ready for it. <laughs> they have no sign to go. That's going to be a counter flash <laughs> instead. And, well, that flash does nothing. His teammate's unfortunately dead, so... We didn't even see, we were watching Zip hold the flashbang. It was yep. Kerrigan's flash that blinds Config. I thought it was a team flash for a moment. Rain's already up and these poor duelies. That one kill on a Config pulled this stack away because Blame F had just rotated over. Farlig had been paired up with Glaive and then obviously nobody home. What a, what a round from face. Clean win. Yeah, well done. I mean, if, if you're Zip and or Config and you're sort of trying to get the timing down, you need something for the timing to work, right? You need a footstep, you need a flash maybe at the bottom of a banana. Yeah. Anything to go off, or maybe config, you know, sh seeing a shoulder somewhere that could help, but yeah, the first warning was to flashbang in config's eyes, and then he's dead, and then... Yeah, the only information he got was being blind. Yeah. Rops is even... Oh. Rops is never gonna go for a knife, is he? I guess not. You want him to, because yeah. it is just funnier, but... Um, Blame has got the duelies, and he is backed all the way into the B bomb site. They're hunting for him a little bit here. Well, I mean, why not? You're just not risking it on the T side by doing it, and they'll find him Brokey right at the end. Good start for FaZe. Not, nothing too complicated, really. Just, you know, winning that fight, and the one over towards Arch. Uh, that's it. That's what did it. This yeah, one. Nice and basic. I mean, just have that first kill pulling everyone away from Glaive. Yeah, that, that has to feel so crappy when you have this setup that's going to be the correct one, and you just get pulled out of it. Rough. Pistol round for FaZe. Yeah, this could either... I feel like this game could be... You know, there is that kind of interest if, if, if Astralis can make it interesting and turn it into an upset, but I think the more than likely outcome is a nice, quick, dominant victory for FaZe. That feels much more likely. It really <laughs> yeah. does. There's a heavy lean in, in terms of the odds of that happening. Obviously, looking at the world ranking is one thing, but looking at the individuals on the FaZe side, right, the way that Twist and Brokey have been playing, Rob's obviously having some games. It, it, there are just, there are some shining individuals on this lineup that it feels like even in a bad day, they're still doing a good job. They're still coming out with a huge performance. And on the Astralis side, there's so much that we're lacking right now. We haven't seen Config at all this tournament. He feels like he's not yeah, even been here. That's a really good point. Yeah, the, the, the dash showed it as well. The step up came from came from Glaive yesterday. That was insane. That was sick. Yeah, yeah, both in blast and in the RMR and in the qualifying matches. So, ooh, good flashbang there. Good investment. Not gonna win him the round, but it's at least got him a glill for the moment. Farlick can actually pull that back for the next round. Oh dear, that's a nice swing and headshot. I was gonna say save the glill, but I guess uh, getting another kill there add to it, and maybe still sip and blame if could. Find a way to rescue that little rifle. It'd be nice to have in the third round. Yeah, it would be, especially if you can you can pass the deagles over as well. Yeah, don't don't take that fight. Just save the weapon. You have armor and Galil. You have a you can pass a deagle over to a teammate. So you have some uh, some real cool weaponry to use in the next round. Two to nothing in the favor of Faze. Do you reckon if um, if chickens were Jesus Christ already were you know, elephant size? Yet. <laughs> That's why we're doing it now, Jason. <laughs> I think if they were elephant sized, they would have been used as war animals in the past. Probably. I feel like an elephant sized chicken would be a pretty ferocious sight to see on the battlefield. You're thinking like ancient Greek warfare, Macedonians. Yeah. Isn't it Alexander the Great that used the, uh, the elephant? <clears throat> All you have is like spears and arrows. Brain is tiny, really hard to kill it even if you, even if you hit it. Like it's just, it's gonna keep on going. And then one elf comes in, slides down the chicken, cuts exactly. all the ropes off, destroys the giant chicken. It crushes the, their own troops suddenly. Yeah, that whole thing. Cool. I could see it working out. I could too. Well, let's see what they can do with this. Galila is going to be on zip. Uh, Deagle is passed over to Config. Pretty good recipient for it. And Blame F still has his from the previous round. What it will take for the defense here, not in this round particularly, but maybe in the next round to uh, to to come up with something great. If we're looking at just the defaults are a little bit more drawn back, or if they need to go 
go fight on banana and try and be a bit more aggressive with it. Galil is going to get taken down. What's your opinion, Jason? What do your what do your goblin eyes see? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Pushing into the bomb set, excuse me. Twist and rain with a pair of nice headshots. Nice and easy. I see slaughter. I see. There's a lot of that. Yeah. Meets back on the menu. <laughs> um, Jesus. We're going to turn this into a whole other things thing. We, we can. Yeah. Every once in a while, you just have to go back and, and rewatch those, don't it, you? It's a, it's a go to on every flight. It's a good time. Whew. All right. Here we go. Fourth round coming up. Oh, immediately on Farnak and the rest of them with the M4A1s. They have a fair bit of utility. They don't have a... Oh, they do have a couple of diffuse kits. I was lying. Almost caught lying. Almost caught lying. But you corrected yourself. We won't, we won't take any points away. Off in the hands of Farlet. Blade behind the smoke. Gonna dodge some spam. Dodge the nade. Blame F without a whole lot of pressure. Put on him in banana. Just some utility. Blinded and backs away. But smoke's all up banana. Prevent anyone from progressing. Not very aggressive, Astralis, on, on either side of the map, really, at the moment. No. Just content to play behind the smokes, at least at the start. No bullets connecting, and Rain's gonna take the advantage to step forward, controls the spray, handles the crab walk as well. Farlick, he's the next one up. Missed the sitter. Kerrigan, he's gonna take him down. Two misses from Farlick, and Config is just a tiny little cubby to hide in. And he's got no idea what's coming. Yeah, no chance there. Don't know what would have had to have worked out for Config to make it uh, a kill. I do think it looked to me like Glaive emptied the entire magazine of the M4A1, and it feels like Rain knew that, so he's like, I, yeah. I'm just going to walk through the smoke. Yeah. I, you know, I'm ready. Sure. I mean, if you come back, I'll win that fight. So. Yeah, he's saying when you reload, you're going to go back into cover. It gives me the opportunity to make this step as the smoke fades. It was, yeah, perfectly played. Risky stuff. He said he was going to have a better day than, than what he did uh, in the pr some of the previous series. He's up to 7-2 and two already. Calling it out before it happens is always key to looking cool, isn't it? Yeah, you do look way cooler if you if you call your shot. That's, um... Yeah, take note, kids, at home, you know? If you're going to run into the middle of Mirage, shoot someone in the head with the deagle, just say it before you do it. Yeah. Sound, sounds better. And if you don't get it, no one's going to remember. They're going to forget true. it in, like, two rounds. But if you do get it, they'll remember it. Yeah. Maybe for like a week. Oh, you can call him lucky or... Sure. Say there was lag or someone else. There's, there are a lot of ways out of it. Good point. <laughs> you being a master of this particular <laughs> this particular move. Yeah, I got a little notebook at home that I just checked, you know, like... Oh. <laughs> Which excuse have I not used in a while? Let's yeah. bring that one back. It's a full moon, so... <laughs> gravity pulling on my mouse a little bit more this time around. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Scout shot misses. Kerrigan's up banana already behind the flames. Follow up Molotovs from both sides. Prevent any kind of further aggression. And they'll call a stalemate. Brokey looking for a follow up push. Awkward weapon situation already on the Astralis side. So, not that they, they can they can obviously make it work. But this is the kind of round where I would really expect for, for maybe an attempt to trick. You don't have to be aggressive straight off the bat, but. Actually, they'd have no more flashbangs either, but I was going to say, this is kind of round where I'd want to see them try and retake Banana, maybe at 50 seconds or something. You you know, you wait, you hold one or two flashbangs, you go with like a two or three man push, and you just you just hope that it works. Because playing what looks like almost a default here, maybe a little bit more B presence, that feels so risky. Hard to make work. And they have none of the rifles over at the A-bomb site, so if anything happens there, it's probably not going to end well. Glaive making his way back with the scout. So now they have the two M4s. Maybe that makes sense. A little more sense than earlier. But still, no more nades at all on anyone on the CT side. Kerrigan first through. Not quite going to beat Sip on that one. And the boost on the other side could get a kill, but he's going to back off it. And that leaves Sip entirely on his own. But rocks with the smoke on the headshot. Makes it an easy round for FaZe. Yep. Bust open that bomb site. Glaive's going to see what he can get at the end. And as you mentioned, no utility, no way to really get out safely to save this M4. Twist challenging. Glaive's gonna go down. That's the rifle hitting the deck. It's just config and far leg with deagles. So five to nothing for FaZe. Very quick, uh, very easy. No complications, actually. They've pretty much had everything they wanted. You don't have to dream tonight. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had a dream that Liquid did one of those, you know, one of those movie sponsorships they've been doing in the past, but it was for like a new Pirates of the... The Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean. okay. Uh, movies, and they dressed up 
you can not and they made him say you can jog oh, like a pirate it was awful it's an awful dream jason <laughs> i don't even know Close where, to nightmare i don't know where to take that one you can dar yeah, yeah i have to experience these things too so why what it, why is that your dream there's got to be something better that you can manifest <laughs> as you fall asleep i, I try but <laughs> Obviously not the best. I can think of it. Not the best night. Yeah, no, it, it, it wouldn't be. Okay, little run boost across, little hoppity hop. Farlick not gonna go for the shot. Did he go too far? Is this? I know, a little bit too much mustard on that hot dog. It seems it feels like it. Blake's been in the gym, so maybe. I like it anyway. I, I like the attempt of it. I want to see. Oh, I like this even more. I don't even know if Flame has any idea how much damage you did there, but that is great. But still, I want to see Astronauts try things like this. I want to see them, yeah, run boost someone in with an AWP. Try and go for a little bit more aggression. Even this bottom banana play, just spraying through the smoke. It, it, I feel like they need something to dictate the pace of this game just a tiny bit more. Yeah, and especially in these first five rounds, FaZe has been able to get, as I mentioned, everything they want. They haven't really been challenged for map control. Even when they have been forced back by utility, it's been a well-played T side so far. So this is a great start, obviously, with a kill and heavy damage on a Brokey. A must win round essentially. It feels like with this kind of an advantage, Zipix recovers his shot. Twists with a response. Blame F is the only one here for a little bit. Config's rotating over, but he's still a hot minute away. Yep. Up on the sandbags. Nice early kill, and he's going to keep it going. A lot of confidence standing up here in the open. Obviously, a lot of risk, too. If they pop the right flash around the corner like they did in the pistol round, you could just be dead almost immediately. Yeah. And he's going to be backing up. But yeah, it's a calculated risk, I suppose. And if it is time, it works out. Brokey tossing all the guns over the fence. No recovery. No AK-47s passed over. No AWP with his four health. It's kind of petty at one point, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I can admire that kind of pettiness, though. Like, I don't want you to have any. He should have thrown the P250 as well and try to knife him. Yeah, Be just like, run in knife anything. Wall. Like, I don't even care. Yeah, there's no inheritance here at all. I've spent it all. Spent everything. <laughs> all right. Nice. Nicely done. Astralis with the first round on the board. A little bit of aggression, and that's all it took. It's all blame F. It's all blame F. Triple kill that round. Including the opening and the massive damage that pretty much prevents FaZe from even executing a tactic. That whole round was recovery for FaZe for the first time in this game. Round number seven. Nice thing, too, is money builds up on the Astralis defense. Yeah. Still a lot of money, speaking of which, on the FaZe side, even losing that round without the bomb plant. Still 8,000 on rain, almost 6,000 on ROPS. So they have, they have a little bit of a buffer even if they lose this round. They got some cash flow. Gonna be a mid-take. Let's see how this stack works out. Farlig with the op underneath. Glaive up top. Playing anti-flash. Burning now. Burning now and blind. Farlig has two. That's excellent. And Glaive just had to bail out. You can understand why. Rops is calling it out. He's waiting for his moment. He's gonna peek. A little bit of a stack on the entrance as his teammates come from below. Three versus four. And you're right. They're starting to see if they can create a little bit of an opening. Flash around the corner. Rain wants to set it up. He runs straight in there, but there's two people waiting. Glaive gonna get the kill finally as well, and Config has gone down, but it's just Rops on his own. And he goes to fight, maybe a little bit aggressive on Glaive, but uh, wanted to play himself back into the game, I guess. Nice double for him, and a good recovery for Astralis, because I've got to say, that was a nice mid-take otherwise from FaZe. That Molotov that was thrown by Kerrigan, it lands perfectly. Glaive is playing anti-flash, got his back turned. And something that, you know, Danny hasn't pointed out yet, but I feel like I should inform people. Turning your backs to flashbangs is really great, but it doesn't really work for Molotovs. Like, I don't know how many people are aware, but they still burn, Jay. Okay, they still they still light you on fire. Little little, <laughs> little life life hack for you. Doesn't work, you know. That was a real uh, limp wrist Molotov. Was wasn't it? Maybe a little carpal tunnel, you know. Yeah, like, just oh. uh, my bad. Farley got that great double kill in the previous round on that mid-take. He's going to look for another kill again here. It's three rounds straight with the opening kill to Astralis. Nice. Yeah. And he, you know, he failed two pretty big shots earlier at... Uh, in the first gun round, yeah. Yeah, quads out of middle. So good little individual recovery. It's good to see that not getting to him too much. Pressure has been on Farley since minute one of joining this lineup. So I, I feel like every, every offer joining Astralis is going to have a lot of pressure yep. put on him for obvious reasons. Zipix. And Banana alone. Farlig rotating over. Molotov gonna buy the op time to get into position. That's actually a perfectly timed piece of utility, so Farlig can peek down, but he's gonna hop up on top of the half wall. Flashed up, but Sip has another smoke, so a lot of pace behind this one. Carrigan 
feels like there might have been a weakness and if he would have caught one of them he would have been dead on right but the smoke will slow them down 40 seconds and they're going to come walking right through Broki, no chance to get the, sco the scope out in time just couldn't make it happen 35 seconds there's already three people here there should be no world in which they're going to be able to actually get this round two versus four now they backed on out a little bit. A twist falling into the Molotov. Slightly painful. Blame F just throwing bullets into the bomb site. Rob's going to try for the bomb plant. Fakes it. 18 seconds. And he will get the headshot. Hold the phone. Yeah, this is very doable. These are the two players you'd want in this situation as well. Config on the flank is maybe an X factor, but Twist unfortunately is locked into first oranges. He can't go anywhere. Let's see how they pull this off. This was a two on five. Oh, <laughs> it starts with a headshot. Glaive goes down. Rops re-peeking from the coffins to take down Config. And Sip is on his own. That is a disgusting recovery. Phase two on four. They had, what, 18 seconds maybe once the smoke cleared to the corner. Even getting the bomb plan down would have been difficult. Man, that kill from Rops onto Blame F is so massive from Coffins because that flashbang was thrown perfectly. Twist was completely blind. He couldn't be involved in that fight. This is a good opening. Quite obviously, Twist gets things started. This kill right here, Flashbang goes off behind Rops, and Blame F is swinging for the fight on Twist at first oranges. And there's two players from the Australia side near Coffins. They actually made a, make a somewhat reasonable choice to not try and fight for the smoke. Yeah. Which is like, all right, hey, we can retake it. It's two on four. Like, let's not risk it. And they still lose the round anyway. That's rough. Sip charging down and again some aggression on Banana. Netting them an early kill this time on Carrigan. Four rounds straight now. Opening kill goes to Astralis. Good stuff. Good trade. It's of utility in Banana. Farleg waiting around the edge of this smoke, hoping someone's going to swing, but Rops is being patient. That's not a high percentage fight. Not one he's going to take quite yet. Config relegated to only a Deagle, but he's got utility. If he feels pressure, can drop a smoke, obviously, in the choke point for Hulls. Plenty of time here. But not that much utility, really, on the T side. Two, three smokes on the Molotov and a flashbang feels like you could end up at the B-bomb site with this kind of a this kind of a setup. Maybe clear out top mid first. They've got 50 seconds on the clock. Smoke going real deep towards the library. They haven't cleared out Banana, so that's a huge issue, obviously, if they wanted to go back to it, so... Yeah, that's what's allowing Blame F to stick around here. Be a fourth player on defense. Rain's just quietly going to take the risk and march over as his smoke is about to fade. Another one goes down in the library. He wants that peak. Config not showing himself. Two players in the site. Blame F neutralized for the moment. And Rain's going to backstab as this hit comes in. Nice headshot from Twist. They spin around. Rops trying to get the spray. He's eventually going to go down, but Twist to the double. And just like that, two versus two. He's picked up an AWP Twist. He's all on health, so going to try and see if he can snipe some away through the library. No one's coming that way, but they might start to cross into it. And they don't have any nades to get rid of him. They can't flash him off this angle. And he's got rain down in the pit behind him, so they creep right in. Oh, Ooh, that's weird. Yeah, I, that didn't sound like he fired the gun at all. Rain gonna try and peek it, but Sip will take him down. Good double, good retake, maybe assisted a little bit by... Whatever some... curiosity happened to Twist. Yeah, weapon malfunction. Yeah, lag. <laughs> there we go. Full moon, remember? Exactly, we've got a whole long list of things. Yeah, did he switch away from the op, like quick switch, before he actually fired the shot? That, that Could have been. Yeah, let's, let's check it out in slow-mo. Maybe, yeah, yeah. Uh, it feels like he like hit the uh, yeah whatever whatever happened. <laughs> Even Robin's. <laughs> if you miss that timing, he has to kind of stop and then uh, like that, that that was cool. But you're right, there is something missing here a little bit from the face side. Well, also, I mean, the, the real bummer is that's that's probably a round win like 19 out of 20 times. Like sure, twist hitting that that the shot that he's gonna hit, and then you have a two on one, and that was also a four a four v five for face. So recovering in a disadvantaged situation, although still obviously losing the round. Astralis, four rounds straight with an opening kill, looking to make it five here. Everyone's poor right now. No money on really any team. Rain charging forwards, being heard. Config in the corner, and he's so flashed. Otherwise, close enough range for the MP9 to have a big impact. Bomb was on the ground, and Rops nearly followed it there. It's going to be left on 16 health, but if he would have gone down, that would have been a disaster for the phase side. Now they can pick it up. They can go straight for the bomb plant. Twist is holding the middle, so they know nobody is, is coming that way, and Astralis might just have to back out immediately. Yeah, they're calling it now. Farleg's running away. As you mentioned, everyone poor. Nobody wanting to risk the entire loadout. Off in his hands. Here's the entrance. Config just gets so blind. Rain even does a double take. It's like, oh, there actually is someone there. Good trade from Rops as he swings out from Boiler. And the defense could not hold. They started three at the B bomb site. 
And that's it. Seven to three for FaZe. Starting to rack it up. In spite of everything, 7-3 was a really, really good scoreline and maybe could have been, been a little bit more. So it, in the grand scheme, it still doesn't feel like the completely overpowering phase that we used to seeing, but it seems to be good enough for what they're aiming for here in the first half. Yeah. Even their B level is good to run up the scoreline on teams. Yeah, exactly. And they need... Catalyst to get them back in. Some of the spark of this team back up. They've been playing a lot, a lot of Counter-Strike in the last two days. Yeah, they, they got a lot more to go. I know. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's wild. That was a cool quote from Glaive as well, saying, uh, you know, I've played in four major finals and I've never felt more pressure than I do, I do now during this qualifying stretch. Yeah, how horrifying is that? But I believe it. Nice boost. Kerrigan. Losing his life early in Banana a couple of times. This time, though, going to be finding Sip. Quick assemble boost down at the wood log there, and that's going to be it. Four versus five. All right. Twist. I wanted to stick around. I could understand that. Backing off slowly. Yeah. Puts but pressure on the Charlotte's defense. Well, Config is going to rotate over to A. Three players here. Glaive burns down to 68. Falling back, this can be heard by the entire phase team. Hall's pop coming in. Here's the flashbang. Rain gets taken down, but Glaive, due to that battle, is completely blind. Rops can't take advantage of it. Good cover from Farlig. Swinging his aim over, and now Config's gonna add on top of it, and Kerrigan's gonna go down last. Last but not least, and Astralis is back on the board. Some of these rounds, Farlig has really had an impact with the AW once they show up to the A bomb site, so. Seems like that's something they can at least try to rely on for a minute here. They need all the rest of the rounds, really. They, they need to get to eight at this point in time. Yeah, good catch. I mean, that's a Hall's pop, but they never actually get out of Hall's in any in any clean, meaningful way. Obviously, Glaive with the first kill takes a lot of the pain out of that hit due to the, it's allowing everyone to kind of set their feet after the flashbang. Seven to four, three round lead. And FaZe is back on pistols, back on deagles, which means Farley can get frisky, sees a shoulder but not able to connect the shot. Swings into the M4, Glaive's gonna take an easy kill, and Blame F now has control of Deep Banana as well. So, so many things taken away from FaZe, and they're in a 4v5. Oh! Just keeping everyone nice and awake. Brokey lightning faster than that one. I haven't seen too much out of Brokey, but he's had some amazing games throughout this uh, tournament so far. So, don't, uh, don't sleep on him. No, he's just chilling right now. Yeah. Twist leading the way with 11 kills for FaZe. Reigns up there with 10 as well. Over on the Astral side of things, it's Glaive with 9 and Farlig with 8 as the two top fraggers for the defensive Danes. And they're going to get their fifth round on the board, so closing the gap and keeping this competitive at the very least. Yeah, real important. Especially if they can keep all four people alive here. But they can. Blame if able to take that one. If you put an animal into overpass, what would it be? You said ancient would be scarabs. Um, Chicken sized scarabs. Yeah, that's a good question. I feel like the problem is they can't, we, for, for ethical reasons, they can't really be like animals we, <laughs> you know, we have emotional attachments to. Okay. I was gonna say it's a German map, so I was gonna like a little, little schnauzer or something like that, but that's that's not gonna work out well. No, that would work out be... horribly. What's wrong with you? <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying no, you know. Hold on, I'll think about it. I'll come up with something. Okay, cool. Ooh. Lame F, nice recovery. That's actually very difficult. There are friendly flashbangs. Zip was, uh, I think, assisted on one of them, and uh, or maybe both. I mean, those those flashbangs from Zip allowed allowed Blame F to actually turn that corner and actually get into those fights. You could see Kerrigan was completely blinded with that Mac 10. He was going to go for a hard clear, but good utility usage from Astralis. They really, uh, the first five rounds of this game was just Phase being able to steamroll them in the start of every single round, and then you know once Astralis got a little bit more comfortable with money, started getting some wins and building up cash, you've seen they've done a much better job both in middle and banana of handling some of the early pressure. Three versus five. A minute left. We've seen FaZe recover around similar to this one earlier, where it's a two on four, admittedly, to be bombsite, but still, hopefully, a reminder to Astralis right now that 
even though this round looks almost certainly won, you have to be super careful. They got three people over at the B-bomb site. It's the right move for what FaZe are doing. They're setting up some basic smokes. They've got a single flashbang, and they're going to try and come through. But again, if that flashbang lands right, they get one early headshot. It's on. It can work, although that is a very annoying spray. Brain is like, come on, at least give me a chance to get through the smoke, you know? Yeah, slow them down and everything. Oh, there's another one. Good find from Config. Just down to Rops. I'm going to say pigeons. Pigeons. There's like a... True. Rats of the sky. Yeah, exactly. And also, we have this, like, this whole little... There's like an ice cream feel to it. You know, like, they've got a little Picnic cafe. Area. Always pigeons around. You know, you drop something on the ground. So I feel like pigeons, but not the kind, like, on train that you could fly away on. We have to make sure people can't. I forgot about that. That's old school. Yeah. Got to make sure people can't escape the map. You know? Yeah, that that would be a problem. But pigeons, I think, would do a good job. Yeah, nobody minds if you blow up a, a pigeon. And well, you, they you, actually probably wouldn't in real life, but... Probably wouldn't. Yeah. But you could probably reuse even the chicken animation for it and just put, like, a pigeon skin on top. Okay. You didn't so you're thinking to... efficiency for the developers, too. You have to. There's layers to this decision. You have to. Uh, certainly. I, I think it's okay, though. I, I think they're doing I think they're doing just fine. Uh, I mean, especially look at this run that they're on. That's actually pretty impressive. Six to two. The yeah. Eight rounds, so that ain't bad from Astralis. I just imagine where they'd be if they didn't lose a 5v2 or 4v2. Yeah, that's probably what they will eventually, one of the, you know, at some point during the day, remember and think about Kerrigan is two and nine so he's having a, a tough game at the moment i think glaive was oh five at one point maybe oh six and he's made a nice individual recovery so that's cool to see and not a lot of money either on the phase side so that eight to seven dream is not completely out of the question didn't touch too much on this oh wait a minute we they tried to hold pop holds pop earlier they're gonna try it again now Deep flash already in this. Oh, maybe not. A little bit slowed down. There's the smoke there. They don't have another flashbang. That's a little bit interesting. Molotov to slow them down on one side. Ooh. Yeah, that first kill is everything. And even config adding on top of it. Yeah, they don't have the utility to really pull it off. That's a uh, bit of a miscue. Danny said he wanted to see them uh, looking cleaner with utility today. I don't like anything about that. Okay. Brokey, I like this. Can we get another? Cannot get another one. Farley will end the, the fun. But I, I don't understand. I feel like they threw... Maybe I'm crazy, but it feels like they threw the flashbang and then they threw a deep smoke. And then at that point, the flash doesn't really do much of anything, obviously. Yeah, there was no real, like, activation of the tactic, was there? Yeah. There was no, they, they didn't actually, like, uh, execute it in any, in any meaningful way. Strauss is right back in this. We're all tied up at seven. We didn't touch too much on this, but obviously for Astralis to make their way into the Royal Arena is critical. It's ridiculous how many Astralis fans there are in that arena. So they really, they're fighting for a lot of things. I would say there's only Astralis fans in that arena. Feels like it sometimes, yeah. yeah, true. So for them, there's added pressure, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, again, more pressure all the time. Shout out to the 20 North fans who are sure to show up. Config burning. That's a, uh, that's north. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Look, you already did your yak and dar thing. It's not like you're starting some from some place of high humor. I don't know. I think now that I think of it, there's something to there's something to work with. Hopefully, the li liquid content team, someone's tuning in because that's an idea. We we already have. Ca you know, Captain America, but it could be there's a Captain Jack Sparrow. Like, there's, I'm just saying, there's a lot of like, a lot of things to build on. <laughs> All under the Disney umbrella. Yeah, why not? 40 seconds left, and phase, uh, they kind of cleared up another. That's a good start, but what will you do with it? You have not that much time left. You haven't even really cleared out top mid. Farley, though, the timing is so unfortunate. Just as he checks that left-hand wall is when they walk out the middle. Nice little lineup here for Config, but he might have oh. to do a little bit more. Only seven bullets left, and there's no one else there. He goes down to Brokey, and the bomb is going to be planted, and they're miles away. Yeah, but it took it took Config, well, as you said, like seven bullets to take down Kerrigan. In that time, he managed to get a one-tap off on the side of Glaive's head. If Config's able to get a cleaner kill there, he's got a teammate to actually defend this bomb site. Yeah. So, phase in a four on two. Looks like they're going to be taking the advantage. Twist is coming up with a late lurk up mid, back towards brackets, and that's not even going to matter. Rop's going to clean them both up. Eight to seven. You can get away with it, I feel like. No one's going to be able to, to complain, you know? Great stuff. Two on five. I actually thought it was two on four, uh, and uh, I just forgot about it, I guess. Two on five. 
Great. Now we're in the second half. Astronauts are on the T side. Phase are on the CT side. We're still in the opening map on Inferno. Ancient second. Nuke last. Oh, that's a great map to finish on. Let's get there. I really want to. Config trying to see if he can find the killer. And he nearly does on Rain. He's down to seven health. So that's uncomfortable. They have some flashes inside. So a similar setup. Trying to see if they can get the timing down right. Even if they do, it's just Config here. It's not the whole team that's going to be flashed. But still, nice way to get a kill. There's the flash. And there's the kill. By the 7 HP player as well in rain. That's just a mirror image of the pistol. Remember that they picked off Config and Banana. Oh, look at Twist. On their T side. Yeah, Twist pushing up as well. Ooh, be careful. Be careful. Blame F. Gonna turn the corner, firing away. Brokey, I don't think he realizes he got too close up. He does now. Off angle for him. That's the bomb. One close up in Halls as well. Rops under a lot of pressure. Kerrigan's shifting over, but this will all fall to Rops. It really feels like it. Maybe Kerrigan could interrupt some of this over at the arch position. What a dangerous move for Rops to be walking out there. He's up close. Flashbang does nothing, but he cannot land the headshot. Now it's on Kerrigan, and he's going to get overwhelmed as well. Double kill for Glaive and leaving Rain on his own. They already know that he's low. Config will have called that in, saying, yeah, he's already been tagged up. So, <laughs> smiles all across. All right. Did he fail the bomb hunt? Yeah, he got off it a little bit early. You can see him shaking his head. It's okay. There's more time. But that would be a way to lose a round. That would be a little, yeah. That'd be hilarious for us. It's kind of funny eating this one. Looks like Rain is communicating with the chicken. Every time it says something, you can see his little avatar is like answering back. Okay. I'm just. <laughs> You're having a day today. You're on one. I, maybe he is. True. That'd be a cool superpower. Pissed around to Astralis. Like a then... Norwegian Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call Eddie Murphy. Well, at least they have the pistol. We can see what they can get started with the economic advantage on this T side. We know it can sometimes be a sticky issue for, for defenses to kind of get on get started on the right foot when they're lacking nades for the first four, four or five rounds. Saw FaZe rattle off a 5-0 start to this as well. Astralis would love to have that in their pocket. This suddenly looks quite doable, doesn't it? Don't say it out loud. I know. But tied up. At least it's a start. We've got Deagles, that one's in set 75. That still feels like a, a more a more of a rarity. It's like an archaic weapon. I know. It's like an old world style. Well, Rain's gonna get the Deagle kill. Kerrigan provides the space and takes the attention away for Rain to get a clean shot. But Blame F has a strong rebuttal. Yeah, him and Glaive both have been having a pretty good game so far. Nice to see them make it work. Rocks, there's, oh, it's so beautiful. He lined it up. You could see it coming. They missed They missed that synchronous peak by maybe, you know, like a tenth of a second. And that was enough time for him to actually find both the headshots. And that's a big problem. Twist will close out the round. But what a what a craftsman he is. Yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, just, just miss popping up at the same exact time. Just one before the other. This is disgusting. One deagle to rule them all. And it's rops. That's how you imagine it, it working in your head. It doesn't, it doesn't usually work that well. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. You're like, I'm going to stand here and, you know, the cover, like I have it. I have the little movie playing in my brain. Yeah, I know what's going to happen. I'm only going to see their head. It's definitely going to hit him in the head. And then it hits him in the leg. Yeah. Nine to eight. And what a shock for Astralis because this is going to be like, we, we just went through the whole... Roll of decks of problems that maybe FaZe we're going to run into, like a grenade, not having the economy, you know, all the rest of it. Good start for Astralis second half. Can take all that away now. Rain is so not even under any pressure here, even though they are running for him. So a whole team coming at him, and he's already got four kills. Three kills, sorry. Blame F going to be alone out here. Oh, I was reading the future too, Jason. Yeah, four kills. you definitely were. Well, I mean, these are also like the rounds mentioned a couple times. FaZe just able to... I don't like if you're going to cause an upset, right? Like you have to win that five on two. You have to win that that round where you have an advantage against, you know, mostly Deagles. And Rops takes this previous round away. They lose the five on two. So those are the rounds that you just have to have if you're the underdog in a game like this. Eight to ten. Phase in the driving seat. Yeah, I guess that's a. Maybe this is overall kind of like an interesting sign for Charlotte. It's not that it's good that they lose this last round or the two versus five. But it almost feels like what we're really saying is if, if they can stop themselves from doing that, they're actually way more competitive with FaZe, which 
It's well, interesting. At least, at least in this map so far, right? Like, it, yeah. You know, like today at, the, at this moment, they're certainly contending and challenging. Just it's just sometimes when you watch a team lose, you think, man, I don't even, I don't even have to go through like a whole exercise of figuring out just how much there are a lot of things wrong. Like they're not getting any map control. They're winning none of the duels. Like there could be a million things wrong that make them, yeah, be put in a bad position. But right now, for Charlotte, it feels like yeah, but. If they could do some of these things, actually, they'd have a pretty... They probably would be up 11-8 in their favor, maybe more even. Sure. Um, but... Well, now it gets difficult, because not only has FaZe kind of taken the momentum away with that second round victory, but also they, they've, they've got so much money. And FaZe is going to have a very strong defense, and now you're in a position as Strahls where you've got to win two, maybe three in a row before you get any kind of a reprieve. Deep nade, not going to... Uh, does tag down Glaive. Down to 72. Nice nade. It all helps. Phonix taking a favor to damage. Some of them are clearing out the apartments over at the A bomb site. Sip. A little bit of an adventure. Let's get a teammate with him. That's that's that just like absolute nightmare fuel here for Rain. Yeah, yeah. That, that was very close to, to disaster. That Molotov from Kerrigan came out a little bit late behind him. I gotta imagine Astralis is just gonna pause and wait for a moment and retake Banana. They're gonna start running low on utility. Only two flashbangs to help them force anyone off any angles. Three smokes to work with as well. 45 seconds. Coming off the boost without making any noise. Which is good. Don't want to be giving any kind of cues away. Seems like could be a bit of a horse pop. Farley is in the middle. He does have a flashbang, but also the bomb, and he's low on health. So, going to be a little bit careful. Three out of apartments is great, but if somehow they fail to this boost, this could actually be a nightmare. Flash is great and all, but they need to worry about that bomb right now. Nice shot from Robs, but he's still going to be going down to config, and the bomb did make its way out into the hallway behind him. So, it didn't go into the middle, trying to be a little bit more clever about it. Brokey's back with another boost, but this time over towards that moto pit. It's now a three versus four with about 10 seconds left. Oh, and Blame have nearly caught sleeping. The bomb we need to get it on the bomb side right now and finally he's finally oh, he's found it oh it. kerrigan is running up and that is the round one even if they had more players alive that's all they needed oh that is so unfortunate yeah that really is what a play from kerrigan to run that route but what a play from brokey and twist just constantly boosting constantly being just a harassing force this is a great shot from config to open things up but yeah the bomb just never able to make its way in that boost from Brokey was great, and Farlick planting at the only position they can't really cover. I think Blame F had repositioned due to the fact that he'd been tagged down. Yeah. He missed that flank from Kerrigan. Otherwise, the setup for this round for Astralis is it's all pretty. The map. So. Yep. Rain said he, he, he remember, we talked about it, call it before it happened, said they weren't going to lose it three times in one event. Well, they're living up to that right now. Four round gap, one AK. Some Tech Nines, a Deagle, a Glock. We've got a little bit of everything right now. Just need the kills. Oh, oh there we go. Sorry, my friend. Oh, you do get one, and you do massive damage to Rain as well. He's down to 3 HP. That could have been way worse. Nicely done from Config. Unconfirmed damage on Rain. True. Sometimes waiting that extra second in the Molotov, counterintuitive as it seems, is actually a great move. I think also just the, uh, this is going to be dark, but the acceptance that he was definitely going to die as well. <laughs> He's just like, all right, well, I'm going to try and take one down with me. Gave him some real mental clarity. He was like, I'm not going to not gonna make it out of this round. Ooh, twist overpowered at the end. Rops up here. Mechanically unbelievably gifted. Two quick headshots. Blame on his own. Rain's low, though. If, yeah. I mean, th this is this is a winnable 1v2. He's going to get the bomb plan. He'll have time as well to reposition. Brokey and Rain really slowing it down, making sure they know exactly where the bomb's going to be planted. And Blame F has a decision to make. Tucks himself Ooh. into pit. They do, have a, they do have a Molotov, though. That's very, very risky. If they throw in the right position, a lot of places to check, but smoke's already been put up, so they know he's not going to be up there. Flash around the corner. Molotov comes out, and it goes even deeper towards quad. So, so far, so good for Blame F. At least he hasn't lost to the nades. Flash around the corner. They have a little bit of time still with the kit there, and he's going to be sneaking in, executing rain, and now it's just Brokey left with all the health in the world, but no time at all to take this fight. He's going to get the fight eventually. He'll spin around, go pick up the kit, and go straight for it, and I think he has the time as well. Yeah. Well, wow, 
Wow, that is really close, but great job on Brokey. Yeah, well done as well. Just sending, uh, I mean, splitting up as well so you can't get doubled up with that low HP. That was essentially Rain saying, I got seven health. I'm just going to jump into the bomb site. I'm going to reveal the position. I'm going to I'm gonna let you know exactly where he is, and it's your 1v1 to play how you'd like, and Rain does exactly that. And also, if he really was up in the A amps and they'd smoked it off and, and he goes straight for the defuse immediately, then Brokey's there covering the smoke. He knows he has to run out of it, so like that's... Yeah, a lot of different layers, I guess, to, to the way they play that 2v1. And, I mean, if a solid attempt from Blame if he was pretty close to winning it. Yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, you just got to grab that. You got to take that fight. Off in the hands of Brokey now. Not a whole lot of runway left for Astralis on Inferno. Five-round lead, 13 to 8. Five rounds in a row as well for FaZe. Remember, they lost the pistol, won the ensuing yeah. second round, and they haven't looked back. They're getting really close at the moment. But finally, some more decent weapons on the side of Astralis, which is nice. Carrigan deep. Hiding in this little corner by the tree. That could be interesting. See if they could, they could leave him here and draw rain back, or they could just use it as, as a classic one, two, Ooh, oh, Rops. This is what a mission that he's on. Picking off one, taking down Sip, and blowing wide open this T side. Yeah, how, what are you supposed to do right now if you're Astralis? Good kill from Glaive. Oh, another follow-up from Glaive. That's huge. Brings it into a three-on-three, -three, but you still have to contend with Rops. You still have to deal with this chaos, and Blame F has him. He's found him. They think this is open, though. Oh, Rain, this is a perfect reposition. They'll have no idea of this off angle, or will they? Ready and waiting for the peak. Farlick's got that. What a round for Glaive to recover. Kerrigan on his own. Walks right into the shot. Glaive with the ending kill. 17 overall on him. Triple in this round. And recovering what looked like a... 100% a lost round at the yeah, start. Yeah, a 3v5, and you have, you know, a CT just really destroying your back line, moving all across the map. This could have been really painful. Some maybe over-aggressive peaks down middle from Brokey and Twist to give Glaive the opportunity, but he certainly had to seize it. A little bit of frustration there. Yeah. Surprising. Wonder if he's upset at Glaive or upset at Brokey for taking the peak. Yeah, for maybe himself, just for, you know, felt like I, I should have should have won that fight. Oh, yeah. Could have very easily been upset with himself. Brokey up close with the AWP in Boiler Room. William F down here. Molotov close. Will spill down behind the half wall. So, nice little trick there. Nade will soften him up, but they're just playing. One anti-flash. Carrigan holding up close. William F does not have a flashbang, but surely someone behind him does. See if they're going to set it up to turn the corner. I think Glaive just waiting for the timing. Going to be Molotov as well. Still over a minute. Ooh, doing the boost as well. Kerrigan, is he ready for it? He wasn't, but he still gets the kill. Rain on his own, trying to follow it up. Taking a little bit of damage, trying to slow them down. But he is so flash. Smoke just to stay alive, and that is not going to work. Could have been an interesting flashbang. Yeah. Straw had a battle to get to this position. Zipic still lurking on the other side of the map. He'll have a chance here. Brokey's just crossed over. Scope doesn't allow him to see. But Rops is pushed up as well. Should be a freebie. And now Astralis knows no matter where they choose to actually attack, it's a 2v1. Twist hiding at the back of the bombsite. There's 30 seconds. There's time to clear this out, but will they? That's the question, and the answer is no. They will not. All down to Blame F. You have to assume as well, because of who they met out in Banana, they don't think Twist is going to be back here. Blame F on his own, takes one. No, he's not even that. Could have nearly taken out Robs, but even if he had, he would have been shot in the back by Twist almost certainly, so... Yeah. Wow. Would nice have, recovery. Would have definitely been traded. Good movement, good mobility from the CT side. Yeah, especially because these battles are... I mean, this takes a little bit of time for them to clear out top banana. I actually thought Rain underhanded a, a smoke to try and keep himself, but I guess it was Flash. He threw the smoke towards half wall. All right, And then enough. realized that they were going to beat it no matter what. There we go. Yeah, even if Blame F gets this kill, he's traded immediately from Twist, who's swinging off that contact. If you're coming in from the Astralis side, you find Rain and Carrigan, you defeat them in a battle out for banana. It makes sense you wouldn't look for Twist back. Big timing... To, to get back there, and they just weren't checking for it. 17 kills on Twist, 22 kills on Rops, 19 on Rain. Powerful trio for the moment. Banana control, and Kerrigan gets behind it, looking over the flames. Stepping in front of the follow-up Molotov, and he's got complete banana control, and he's done it quietly. There's a little gap in that smoke. 
finding him with limited utility, which is great because they don't have that much to begin with on the face side. So pretty good for them to get down there. Rain will pick up Blame F. One of the really heavy hitters here on the Astralis side. Huge loss early on. Bomb still dropped way far in the back. And actually, it probably doesn't even matter considering the kills that are coming out. Twist is going to be able to find Farlig as well. It's just Zip. Even if they had all the success in the world, they would have had to traverse the entire map and deal with Kerrigan's flank. Nice shot from Twist at the end is going to put FaZe on 15. Six chances to close out Inferno. That's a triple in that round for Twist. He's maybe, I think he was just upset the previous round that he didn't. He's like, I'm, I can win all the fights. Yeah, I think, I think he was <laughs> upset. Not that he lost that fight. I think he was more upset that he made the decision to kind of follow up and peek and be aggressive and give away another kill. One of the big weapons, obviously, on the face side there. 20 on him, 20 on Rain, 22 on Robs. That's, <laughs> that's a lot to deal with. And we're just now starting in the 25th round. It is one more round here for FaZe, and they'll pick up their own map pick. Auto shotgun on Brokey. Oh, I wish. There we go. Picks it up, but then switches straight into the AK to continue the battle. He's felt a little bit left out this game, Brokey. Wants a yeah. little bit more. Gets a couple of kills at the end. And much like uh, to finish the Mirage game yesterday, where he went absolutely crazy yeah. jumping over. This time, he's like, final round of the half. I'm going to go nuts. I'm going to just be hyper-aggressive. And poor Blame F. Stuck into Lohuk's smoke dropped on him as well. He's got to go for...